All right, so I feel like iOS 26.1 should have been the software released initially when Apple released iOS 26 to the general public. And I'll explain the reasons why. Now, Beta 2 has been out for several days. And of course, as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys some additional new features and changes that I've noticed within the beta after using the software for several days. Now, if you want to watch my initial coverage on iOS 26.1 Beta 2, I talk about some of the changes happening to Liquid Glass and some of the new features. I'll link that video in the description down below. But again, today we're going to focus on some additional new features and changes. So I recommend you watch that video first and then come back to this one if you haven't already. Now let's talk about a new security feature built into iOS 26.1 beta 2. This one is going to be called background security improvements. You can go into settings, head on over into the privacy settings on your iPhone. So if we head on over into privacy and security, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you find the background security improvements. Now this is very similar to the rapid security response feature that Apple introduced that allows the iPhone to update the security of the software without Apple having to provide an entirely new software update. So this would allow the iPhone to have the latest security patches again, without Apple having to provide users with a new software update in order to patch any security flaws. Now, obviously, if it's a major flaw, Apple will most likely release a new software update moving forward. But yeah, now that new background security improvements feature is really cool and it's now available within this latest beta. Now, I wanna talk about the silence toggle for a second because I was sort of bummed out and I know this is minor, but if we go under the sounds and haptics option, the silent toggle is now back to red. Now I have this iPhone here running iOS 26.1 beta one. And you can see here, if we go into sound and haptics, you see there the toggle was green. It is now back to red, which I was missing. And now Apple brought it back again, refining the operating system, making it look exactly like it should. Another example of that is here on the lock screen. Let's say I wanna go ahead and click customize here and click on the clock here. You see the platter to customize the clock. The radius there around the corner looks perfect. Let me show you that here on a previous beta. As you can see, Apple is really doubling down on the way the operating system looks. Take a look right there. See the radius, how it's cutting off here on the corners. As you can see right there, the radius is just off. You see here within the latest beta, not only does it add more liquid glass, but it's also more refined. As you can see there, beta two versus beta one. And you see there, Apple definitely, you know, taking a look at a lot of these minor things that I think Apple should have addressed initially with iOS 26. Now there's one thing that I did mention on my initial coverage, and that is going to be under display and brightness where we have now the actual iOS 26 wallpapers there on this section here for display and brightness as you can see right there. Again, Apple just refining the operating system. Now, a lot of these refinements also translate over to icons, menus, and also labels. So for example, if I go into settings here and go under Bluetooth, you see that the description has been adjusted as well as the icon is over to the left. Let me show you that here on a previous beta. So if we go under Bluetooth in beta one, you see there the icon is centered, not on beta two. Beta two is off to the left and the description has been adjusted and it looks proper in my opinion on this second beta and this also translates over to the cell options over to wi-fi for example there you see everything is uniform here generals accessibilities and so on everything has been adjusted here within this latest beta including folders and folder labels here let me show you here you see the youtube folder here the youtube label is off to the left let me show you that in beta one here for example you see youtube is all the way at the top so i think it looks a lot nicer more compact more organized and apple continues to improve the look of the OS with this latest beta, adding more liquid glass and things like that, which I really love. Now the fitness app also received an update and I love this one because you now have custom workouts. So if you tap into workouts under the fitness application, you have this new icon on the top here where you can press and create or add a workout. You see here, you can select from various workout options available and even custom options available here to you. Duration, start times, calorie counts and efforts and so on. So you can create or add custom workouts under the workouts tab here in the fitness application with iOS 26.1, that is a welcome change. Now over the weekend, Apple also fixed the issue on server side for the issue on Apple intelligence that wasn't downloading properly for some iPhone 17 owners, including iPhone Air. Now keep in mind, that Apple intelligence did get this update server side, which means Apple fixed it on their end. You don't have to do anything. So if you had issues downloading Apple intelligent capabilities to your device, Apple 
has now set to fix that here within the latest server-side update for Apple Intelligence. And last but not least, I want to talk about AirPods. If you have AirPods Pro 3, AirPods Pro 2, USB-C, and Lightning, or AirPods 4, Apple did release the first beta for iOS 26.1 with the latest build number for the firmware, 8B5014C. That is the latest beta available for AirPods within iOS 26.1. If you want to give it a try right now, head on over into AirPods settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, select AirPods beta update, and enable beta updates on your AirPods, and you should be able to enjoy the latest beta for the AirPods firmware update. Now, in terms of battery life and performance, I know you guys like to know this information. So in terms of performance, the single core score was 3,700 and 11 and the multi-core score was 9694 so those numbers are looking excellent here on ios 26.1 beta 2 in terms of battery life i know you guys are asking about this one i have to say battery life has not improved with this latest beta for ios 26.1 so if battery life is one of those concerns to you keep in mind that battery life will not get better but also won't get worse it'll be similar to ios 26 and hopefully we'll see improvements with battery life moving forward with additional beta so i'll keep you guys posted but there you guys have it that about brings it into this video thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace